hi guys welcome to my channel this is dio um if you are new to this channel please subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime i release a new video so today we are going to be showing you how to um draw an or trees using go to the sketchbook on your mobile on your android phone so i'm practically going to be sharing this photo from my gallery to to my Autodesk sketchbook this is the easiest way to import photo using your um, um import photo to your Autodesk sketchbook so um after importing your photo you're going to be tabbing on the um, reference layer you're going to be tabbing on the reference layer then reduce opacity to either between um, the range of 50 to 60 to 60 or 70 it depends on how you want it it's your based on um personal preference so i prefer using my uh, opacity leaving my opacity at 68 to, to 70 or so um, but sometimes it depends on the contrast of the image so also uh, when you're done with um uh, reducing opacity you can add you can that plus sign you're seeing at the top at the top right corner I'm I'm bending my phone horizontally just to um like this side just to like show you um the interface. So uh, when you press the plus sign, it's going to be adding a new layer um for you. So I'm going to be rotating my yeah I'm going to be rotating my Autodex. Um. So when I'm making tutorials like this, I do turn my interface to um, a horizontal um, interface but when I'm really just working on my personal project or working without recording my screen I do use my phone vertically so but for tutorial purposes I'm going to be using this in the interface I'm going to be turning the interface to be horizontally as this as you um, like this so um, this is uh, presently on horizontal view so but um the reason why i do this is because i want it the reason why i do it is because i'm um when i'm done recording um screen recording um it's going to turn out like uh, practically the same um view as the um it's going to be turning out the same view as that of the um laptop or that of um that's on ipad so the view is going to the interface is just practically going to be that of um same to that of the um pc or that of the ipad so yeah that's the reason why i turn it this way so as to like for you to see everything clear and yeah but um if you are personally working on your pro uh, project it's advisable for you to use it um vertically because it's more convenient for you to hold your phone vertically and draw and to me personally i prefer using it vertically because it gives me um um some it gives me the ability to have control with my lines and my lines are more straight uh, um, when i'm holding it vertically so but when i'm holding it horizontally like this um more uh, this is more of a gaming type of um holding so yeah i would advise you as a beginner to hold it um vertically not horizontally uh, horizontally so yeah um just in case your photo is not having quality i would advise you to go back to your gallery and import and share the uh, photo you are you want to use work on to pixel lab i'm going to be writing the name on the screen and also i'm going to be um um sh i'm going to be uh, putting the link to download the app in the description box so after you have imported the photo to your pixel lab um, just click on share or click on the save button the save a uh, save option above then save image then you go to dimension then you go to you can either choose high or you can go to ultra and then select ultra then click on save to gallery or if you prefer to just share it directly from it's going to automatically save it to your gallery do then you save it then you can share it directly to your 
Autodex. So um, you have so so many options to uh, work with. So if you prefer um, importing it just like this directly to your Autodex, it's also good. But if you prefer going to your gallery after saving it, then importing the higher resolution image to your Autodex is all good. So it just depends on your preference. If you prefer it this way, then it's good. If you prefer it the other way, it's good. You're still going to have the same results, by the way. So yeah. So now we've successfully imported our image to Autodesk Sketchbook. All we'll have to do now is to do the um, the same previous um, steps we've done, and that is tabbing on the reference layer reference layer then reducing opacity to either 70 or 50 it depends on your own personal preference as far as you can still see your reference um while tracing so i've done like an in-depth tutorial on how to trace but i'm just going to show you how i hold my phone uh both ways um either vertically or horizontally and how i sketch using my thing my finger my thumb vertically I'm, i basically use um, my thumb to trace the image so as as you can see i'm using a vertical um, a horizontal view um, for this particular uh, aspect of tutorial i'm still going to turn my interface into a vertical view so so that you can see how i use it in both ways in both views so yeah i just zoom the image then start tracing you can either um you can just see how I use my thumb to like trace. It's nothing it's self explanatory. You can just see how I move my thumb and trace them. See, uh, most of you guys have requested this video and you would um you said you would like to like see how I um how I trace using my thumb and my my finger. So this is practically how I use um my Autodex on, on Android phone to trace. And also um Funny enough, this is the uh, way I use. This is the the, uh, the way I use my Autodex while recording for a tutorial. So you can imagine how stressful it can be. But when I'm on a normal um on a normal um uh, time, like when I'm just using Autodex for my normal projects or so, I use it vertically. That I turn the interface to the normal vertical. Um, interface just to like have um control of my lines and have a better line so that's why you see sometimes the results that i achieve while doing um tutorials and the result i achieve um while uh, working on my personal project or or just just for my pitch you see the huge difference because i concentrate and take time and and give my uh, all to g getting a better line and getting a good shading so but when you're recording you will be very overwhelmed with with the how the the you you just focus on seeing how you can get the phone to be recording at the same time getting the line straight and all those distracting um stuff so yeah but when i'm working off camera it's a uh, far much more easier for me to achieve a good result than uh, me working on a uh, while while recording so yeah so i'm just just i'm just going to like uh, keep quiet and just sh um, allow you to see how i um i trace practically so i i just hope this video helps so you can just stick around i'm going to be explain uh, um showing you again and explaining how i trace um, vertically
so for those of you all that are still having issues with achieving street line you can click on predictive stroke then leave the level at um three as you can see i've already clicked on predictive stroke you can see the difference of the lines this one uh, this line is i'm achieving a more street line and more confident line compared to the initial tracing i've done so yeah so it helps you um just uh, especially when you are not conversant with drawing on phone it helps you as a beginner to like have a straight line so yeah you can uh, it's advisable for you to leave the level just set the level at three but if you want to like achieve a more straight line or you find uh, cycle um you can you can shift the level to five so as to get a more perfect cycle or perfect straight line but in order to like get a more curvy or a uh, yeah curvy line um you can just leave it at three as you can see i'm doing the down lashes um it's giving me a nice curvy line so this is just the easiest way to achieve this
so you can pause the video to see the names of the brushes i use so i'm done um, using the vertical um, interface to sketch uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to be rotating the interface into a horizontal interface just to see how um it's going to turn out so uh, presently i'm just feeding i'm feeding the lines using a a hair hair air eraser so yeah um yeah as you can see this is the lines i've achieved using a horizontal um horizontal interface okay guys this is the vertical um interface of our autodesk sketchbook so i've um rotated i've rotate the guess the screen is um the skin the screen interface to a vertical interface so this is just practically how i use it i mostly don't use the predictive stroke for the vertical interface because i i just have control of my lines and everything so i'm it's just like holding my no no it's just a normal way of holding phone while chatting also so this is just the most recommended uh, way of holding phone while sketching but if you prefer the horizontal um interface or horizontal way of holding um phone then it's fine it's fine you can go about you can go and continue using it that way but i prefer using it um vertically holding my phone vertically just to like have control of everything i'm doing because it's a it's a it's a phone it's a handset it's a mobile phone so it's preferable you you have control of your um phone when you're holding it vertically compared to holding it horizontal horizontally obviously so yeah um this is just how i sketch um when you um just keep building on building up the lines and just keep cleaning the messy lines just keep cleaning the ones that are outrageous and just make sure you get a confidence line a straight line so just don't um be afraid to undo and redo don't be afraid to keep redoing until you achieve the straight line just make sure you just give it a time don't rush just give it a time i do rush on this video because it's a tutorial and also the more i take time the more heavier the video is going to be so yeah that's why i do rush on this video but i would advise you to take your time and zoom zoom on the image to achieve a straight line the more you zoom the closer you zoom the more straight your line will be as you can see this is just the best way you can achieve a straight line so yeah about the brushes and the rest you can go to my other videos to know how to set your brushes and set the sizes of your brushes but as you can see now this is just like um trying to show i'm just trying to show you how to hold your phone and how to achieve straight lines using your um thumb and just using a vertical or horizontal um way to hold uh, like just holding vertically or horizontally so yeah this is i think this is all for this video but well, you can just stick around to see how i um achieve my the last sketch and how i shade i'm sorry and how i sketch my hair i yeah this is practically just for a sketch a sketch sketch tutorial so i'm not going to be doing shading in this particular tutorial so you just stick around i'm not going to be speeding any of this just stick around to see it the the sketching process to the end so i just hope this video was helpful though so thank you guys for sticking around
so guys this is the end of the video if this video was helpful um do well to let me know in the comment section and also you can chat me up on my social media platform which is in instagram facebook and twitter also i'm all in those platforms you can just feel free to chat me up on any of them and you can let me know your issues where you're having issues um and also any question you want to ask relating to this video or to my previous uh, to my previous video or recent videos i will help be glad to help you out so yeah you can chat me up on my social media platform you can follow me on my pages you can so yeah this is practically all um about this video you can also share with friends if you find this video helpful you can share with friends and also um yeah don't forget to like give it a thumbs up and also if you're a new subscriber subscriber welcome to the family so um do well to indicate yourself in the comment section so thank you guys for watching see you in my next video bye